In today's video, I want to show you how artificial intelligence can actually help a radiologist in its day-to-day -day practice. And to go into this video, I want to ask a question first. What is the most boring part of being a radiologist? Or what's the most boring task a radiologist has to perform on a daily basis? And that's very easy to answer. It's probably just measuring, measuring stuff. We measure angles, we measure length, ratios. So we measure a lot of stuff. And it's not very challenging from a you know, mental point of view. You just have to know where to measure, what to measure, from where to where to draw the line. And this is something you can even teach uh, like a child or I don't, I don't want to say a monkey, but it's, it's not very challenging, okay? So why don't we use artificial intelligence to actually help us out with that? And there are several solutions out on the market already. Some of them are already, you know, approved for clinical use. And that's what I want to show you here in today's video. So now I want to show you how Image Biopsy Labs Llama tool works and how we can use that and how it actually helps us in clinical routine. Image Biopsy Lab was kind enough to sponsor this video, so thank you very much for this as well. Now, this is their official homepage for the Llama tool. And uh, you, know, you can see this is just some marketing material, high reader variability for this manual measurements, etc. But let's see what they are suggesting. So their tool seems to be precise, very constant with these measurements. And this is something I have seen in real life too. So that's actually very good. And then you get quick results. So it's very fast. You can even set it up in a way that you get the results before you even start reading a study. So in basically that's um, the ideal scenario. And it also works with total knee implants and total hip implants so that's also certainly a, like a big advantage here okay so they also say three times faster so we, we have, we'll check this uh, here in a second and you can a lot of people are interested in this because it's a boring part of measure you know these measurements are boring nobody wants to do it so if we get instant results that would be certainly a big advantage so this is now a example report this is the one from their homepage, and you can see all the measurements it's providing here mechanical axis and deviation uh, lens measurements for for every bone separately but also the full leg length that's one that I used to measure manually then it gives the leg difference in length it measures the angle of the knee axis you know all these different angles um, and all these different measurements you can see down here so you can see here the hip knee ankle mechanical axis then the anatomical mechanical angle etc so a lot of different stuff um, maybe more than we measured manually at least more than i measured manually but you can see it seems to draw these lines pretty accurately so it really finds these cortical margins and then goes down and you can see you know this is just how the angles are measured and this is important because we want to make sure that we check in our results when we get a result back from the artificial intelligence that there are no mistakes meaning for example this line is suddenly somewhere up here because of maybe there is osteoarthritis or something is different and the artificial intelligence doesn't really got it right but so far it seems to work pretty consistently and very good so i haven't seen any issues in this department yet so this is twice the same image i just have him have them next to each other to illustrate the measurements so i would then first start with the leg length measurement so i go all the way down from cortex of the femoral head down to the tibia that's one leg length measurement then we go down here we do the same we try to really pick the the right spot here so that's about that and then we take the angle tool and we do the center of the femoral head to the knee and then from the spine down here the same on the other side so this is normally how i do it uh, you know it seems to be very accurate uh, just eyeballing the center here humans are very good in finding middles of circles uh, i would believe so we have to put that's axis one and okay so we have these two angles and this is the leg length i normally don't measure more than this and we can now try to use the actual uh, result here and see how that behaves in terms of accuracy so let's see what i've got i've got leg length of 91.5 centimeters and the computer on the right side got it so this is in german though I got it 91.6 so 0 0.1 or 1 millimeter uh, off and then 91.5 this is exactly the same value and you can see it's, it's very accurate then we have the angles you know i've got seven degrees varus and seven degrees valgus and this is pretty much the same there's one degree va difference on the right side but this is just you know variability that we have as humans so i could certainly also make this measurement 
uh, in a way that it's maybe a little bit less. Uh, you can see maybe uh, uh, we don't really see where the different occurs, difference occurs. You know the values and, and the markers are in the right spot, but you can see it's very close, so it's very accurate. And um, yeah, now let's find out how much time we can actually save with this method. So the next step is to make a real life test. And I will report a study the traditional way without the AI and then I do the same with AI and then we can see how much time we are actually saving. So I have my stopwatch here. So let's start with the traditional method. Let's go. So that would have been the time uh, one and a half minute for this study roughly. I would then obviously have to check that the voice recognition got everything right, but it looks like that's the case. Yeah, let's say one and a half minutes. Now let's do the same, or before we do that, let me just first compare our results now with the AI. Let's pull this in, 81.9. 82 is very much the same. One point one. 0.1 centimeter difference or one millimeter and 81.7 is the exact same value then axis again one degree off here and here 0.6 degrees off so this is not uh, relevant in terms of you know outcome for the patient so we, we don't have to kind of like feel bad about this so it's actually very good okay and all the lines they look quite okay now that's great so i'm very happy with that so it took us 90 seconds now let's see how much time it takes us to do it without uh, or with the AI rather. Okay, so let me just reset here everything. Now there are two ways. So we can either just the values are here and we don't have to repeat anything here or we just uh, look at the packs and, and go and check the values there. But some people prefer to have the values in your own report. You now wh what I would do is I would maybe even add it as a PDF to the report. So I'm making the assumption that we don't have to give the values in our report again, because that's just double work and we want to be efficient. We don't want to waste our time with stuff like that. That's really what we are going to do right now. So let me just reset our timer here 90 seconds is to beat and we put this in so let's see then let's go and this is now with AI okay it's going oh, excellent punkt okay so that's about it stop so it took us only 40 seconds uh, to do this without the measurements. Okay, that's great. So as you can see, we were much faster with the AI and I think we saved roughly 50 seconds or maybe one minute. And this was just with the basic measurements of leg length and the one angle measurement that I did. So imagine now that you give all the other values with these different uh, you know, length of every bone separately, and then all these other distances and angles that you saw on the report, then you can save a couple of minutes actually by using this algorithm. So it's actually much more faster. And I think it's also very good to be, you know, to have an accurate uh, system. And you can see in the measurements when we compare them, I was always very close to the real, well, the real measurements uh, that the AI did. So there is not like a big difference of like four or five degrees. So it's very close within just one millimeter or maybe one, uh, degree. So that's very good. So I'm really uh, looking forward uh, to more tools like that that take this burden of boring measurements off a radiologist's shoulder. This is where AI can really make uh, things much more interesting and faster for us. But don't forget to always check the result that the AI produces because there is no 100% guarantee. So we need to make sure the lines are in the same and in the correct spot. So maybe we could add another five seconds to the AI uh, measurements where we will actually check whether these measurements are right or not. So I hope you liked this video and thought it's interesting. And with that, I'd like to say thanks again to Image Pipes Labs for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.